Alright, so I got all four legs, tenons done, and I went ahead and cut them out on the jigsaw. So they're all rough cut. And I took the template and double stick taped it to the first leg uh, because my plan was to flush trim to the template. Uh, first of all, this tape is super thick. I don't know if I got the right thing. It's carpet tape, but you can see what it looks like. It's got these, these cords in it. Super sticky, but it's really thick. And the other problem I have is my plus trim bit is not quite three quarters of an inch. So I'm not going to be able to get all the way through just in one pass. So, I mean, I know I can take two passes, but I'm just scared that it's going to leave a ridge and that it's not truly flush. I'm just worried that it's going to leave some material or a ridge behind that I might have to just sand out. And I really don't want to mess up the legs at this point. But I'm going to attempt to use the router table for the first time ever. So that should be fun. All right, so I'm at the router table. I've got the router installed. I've got the bit installed. The right height so that I can run. Uh, the template up against the bearing and I'll cut off as much as I can. One thing I don't have are push blocks. So I have these homemade bench cookies that I made. It's just some non-stick tape on both sides. So the only thing I know to do is just to hold on to the piece with these pads and just push it in, being very careful, uh, especially when I get to the end. But I would recommend you know, I'm going to I need to look into getting some, some push blocks, definitely. So, we'll see how it works. Okay, so I got issues here. First of all, the first time the router table was moving because I don't have it bolted down. I need to make a base, which I plan on doing, um, but I need wood to do that. And uh, I just bought this wood, so it's going to be a little while before I can get some more wood. Second time, I realized that the wood started off fine, but once I got around this corner, this protruding wood hitting the shaft or the shank of the bit stopping me from going any farther so I gotta come up with another way to do it um, the only top bearing bit I have is this little quarter inch dado bit so I'm gonna try to figure something out with it I don't know what I'll do yet so I got the little top top bearing uh, bit and I'm gonna Try to go that way and take a pass and then see what I can do from there. So I was able to get uh, a quarter inch of it off anyway. And uh, I think I'll, with the, I'll have to install the other bit now and I'll just have enough to get the rest. Of course I'll be referencing off the piece, the part I just cut. So uh, I just hope it turns out okay. Well that worked, but it barely, it's barely too small. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little sliver of wood left. I mean, just a thin, paper thin piece of wood. So I'm going to have to lower the bit just a tad bit and run it one more time. So that worked. It's kind of a tedious routine there, but uh, that's the way I'm going to have to do it. It's going to take a while for the other three legs. But at least it'll be done. The only thing I noticed is uh, that first bit, the top bearing bit, cut cut a pretty rough compared to the this this bigger one here. And this is a Ryobi brand. It's nothing expensive. It was given to me by my dad. The other one I bought it was an Amana, 
I would have thought the Amana would have had a better cut than the Ryobi, but I guess not. So now I gotta try to get these apart. Cop tape is sneaking. Super sticky. <sighs> Stuff is sticky. But I guess it worked pretty good. Although I don't really like this kind. I'll have to try to figure out what kind everybody else is using on all the videos that I watch. Alright, so I'm gonna get started on the other legs. Well, that was an interesting experience, but I am done with the legs. Um, first of all, I don't know that on a leg you're supposed to do the grain this way. Because the long grain on the bottom is kind of just torn out. So I'm going to have to use some super glue and put that back together. But maybe you're supposed to do it another way. I don't know. This is my, I've never made legs before like this. So, I mean, obviously from the router table operation, I don't know what I'm doing. This is all trial and error for me. Trial and error for me. And apparently speaking clearly is trial and error for me as well, since I can't seem to speak up or speak clearly. But, uh, so anyway, I'm done with the legs. Uh, they're going to take some cleanup, some sanding. But I'm happy that I'm done with it. And uh, I'm excited about what it's going to look like. And I do want to put a round over on the edge of all of them, I think. Uh, we'll just have to see, get to that point. And, see so. and I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the post um, obviously I need to cut it off somewhere so I made a mock-up just out of the 4x4 post I had I cut a 3x3 block put a hole in the top of course it was a little bit off center but that's okay it's scrap uh, uh, first I round over all the sides and it looked okay and then I decided to do an OG on the top and the bottom. And I think that looks probably the best I'm going to get it with really the tools that I have. It's basically all I have is either a round over or an OG. I don't have anything else. And I don't really know what else to do. Um, but. So if I take the post with the shims. And I insert it in there. You can take the leg and hold it up and kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. And I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Of course, this is a little long because there's going to be a half inch tin in there, so it'll be a little shorter. And I think that looks okay, at least for what I'm able to pull off uh, with what I have. So. That's what I'm going to go with. 